Good afternoon. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for being here. Good to see Hi, you. Hi, thank you. I'm Jennifer Reed. I'm the director of Bridgewater State University Senior College, and we're here today with Lisa Rafferty, who will be teaching a course with us this fall. Um, Lisa, can you introduce yourself, please? Hi, I'm Lisa Rafferty. I'm a professor of theater at Bridgewater State University. Welcome. Um, and can you tell us a little bit? I know you've taught with us before, and we're thrilled to have you back. What, what made you um, come back and offer another course here at Senior College? So I'm a director, producer, and playwright in theater in the Boston area and sometimes New York and other places. And um, so my life is pretty much theater 24 seven, right? So I've been teaching at Bridgewater for 10 years and I have taught classes in the American musical and uh, something I feel very passionate about. So it's, it's the most fun I could possibly have is talking about the American musical theater. I was so um, surprised because I sat in on a couple of your classes last semester at, you know, of course you have this like encyclopedic knowledge of American musical theater, but so do a lot of our members. <laughs> and so I, you know, I realized we really have this great sweet spot where our members are very interested in musical theater and theater in general. And so we're so thrilled to have you and all your expertise. Yeah, well, that's what makes it really fun and exciting because we can share anecdotes and stories and opinions because it's art, right? And so we all have our own opinions about different shows we love or different shows we maybe don't love so much. And so that's the great interaction, right? I mean, everybody, most people, right, taking this class have an interest, knowledge or experience with musical theater. Yes, but you don't need to have that yeah. to enjoy the course, especially, you know, I think someone like me, you know, fairly novice, you know, I've seen, I don't know, maybe 10 Broadway musicals in my whole life, but it's an interest of mine. And, you know, I think that anyone that's uh, interested in it would um, have a good experience as well. So, well, please, sure. Uh, and may I just say that even if the all the musicals you've seen have been films, that's great, too, because so many of Broadway shows have been made into films or so many films have been made into Broadway shows. So it's, it all works out. Great, great point. So tell us a little bit about what members um, who, people who join senior college could expect to learn in their course with you this fall. This one is focused on the past 50 years of the Tony Awards. Uh, so musicals that have been nominated for best musical or maybe a couple of other nominations thrown in there, like best choreographer, or best actor, or best actress, and sort of um, the 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 good, the bad, and the ugly of those Tony nominations. The shows that should have won and didn't. The shows that should not have won and did. <laughs> and like we'll we'll kind of it will be like a survey of the past 50 years of Tony Award winning musicals. And, you know, the one that jumps to mind in the theater world a lot is, is the year that um, Music Man and West Side Story were both nominated for best musical. Hey, great musicals. I've directed Music Man. I've seen West Side Story. I, you know, I know a lot about them, but Music Man won. And I'm not sure that one has stood the test of time. I mean, yeah. yes and no. And right. that's what we can debate. We can say, no, that 100% should have won. Or we could say, well, maybe it was a little short-sighted that year. Yes, I love that. That, was, that sounds like a fun experience to me. Um, one thing that people should know if you're considering um, taking this class is that um, Professor Rafferty uses something called Blackboard, which is a course management learning software that we have here at the university. So as a participant in this course, you'll have access to videos and interviews and all kinds of great other material at no additional cost to yourself. They're all um, you know, uh, owned by the university um, library. And so it's a really great way for us to share additional material. And I think a lot of members I know got a lot out of that experience last time having access to that, that space that you provide for the participants. Yeah, it was wonderful. And, and you know, you don't have to always check Blackboard before the class. It's just there for you or there to refer to after the class is over. It's just something to have, something to, you know, be a part of the class, but you don't have to stress out about it. Exactly. Yep. No tests, no grades. And anyone that's in need of help with Blackboard, I'm here to help them. I can walk you through it. We can meet on a Zoom individually and we can go through the steps together. So there's lots of support around getting into it either. Once you get into it, it's super easy point and click um, experience. So 
Uh, thank you so much. Your course, The Great American Musical, 50 Years of the Tony Award Winners will take place on Zoom um, on Thursdays beginning on September 29th. Um, and it's at 2.30 p.m. to 3.50 p.m. The link to register is right below here on this video. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me at Senior College. I'm gonna um, wave some playbills. Oh, I like it. You're blurred a little oh, bit. Oh, no. There we go, there we go. I see that. That one. was That's this year's winner. Oh, nice. Hey, there's Daniel Radcliffe and how does oh, yeah. it Excellent. Thank you so much, Lisa. Oh, another one. Oh, oh, wicked, wicked. Oh, I love that one. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.